guys, Saturn Looms here, and today I'm going to be filming a tutorial for this adorable baby squid, which is designed by Rainbow Loom Cre underscore creations 456, but they would like to give credits to Zimmy Looms, of course, for uh, the inspiration of this design because it is a mini version of her big squid, which I also did a tutorial for. Go check that out. Link will be in the description. So, this is like the size comparison. It's a pretty small version, I would say. It's really cute. And it's not too band heavy, in my opinion. And it's also really light for some reason. Like, it weighs nothing. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Let's get straight into the materials we'll be needing to make this baby squid. So of course you'll be needing yeah, any type of hook, I'm using my rainbow hook as always. You also might want a helper hook. That's just my preference though. A uh, polyfill or stuffing or something to stuff your creation with. A C clip or stitch marker, two six millimeter safety eyes or whatever you'd like to use for the eyes, beads, bands, different size eye or whatever, and then of course bands. I'm using glow bucket orange. I use bucket orange for this one too. I'm making one for my collection today because these two are on my Etsy, along with this big squid. Um. You're gonna need about 300. I did do the band count like pretty quick, so it might be a little less, but I would have like half a pack just in case. It, the All the band heaviness always comes from the tentacles. So those are the materials you'll be needing to make this guy. And now let's get started with the process. Uh, just before I get started with the process, um. Just want to let you guys know that I am a little bit sick right now. I sound very congested, but um, I hope it's not too bothersome because I really wanted to film today because it's been like more than a month since I've uploaded and I've been holding off on filming this for a while because of school and sports and stuff. So, and just happened to be sick this weekend, so I am very sorry about that. But, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. So, first we are going to make the tentacles. You will need eight. I have already made seven, so I'm going to show you guys how to make one. And I did do these a little bit differently than the de designer. I only chained one in each loop instead of two. I didn't even realize it until I was, like, done. But then I also feel like the two would make it look too bulky, I guess. But you can do whatever you want. This is with one chain. You'll know what I mean when I get there. But, um, okay, sorry. So you will need eight in total. I will show you how to make one. So I got my band. I am gonna get a new background like backdrop thing soon because this one is like has like holes and stuff in it there we go okay so first what you're going to do is you're going to take a band on your hook and you're going to wrap it around once like this oh <laughs> broken band Ooh, another broken band and you are going to chain up six so you can take one band chain it on and reclaim pull one band through everything and reclaim and do that same thing four more times so one two three and four so you have six in total so one two three four five six and then your cap band. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one band, pull it through everything, 
and then tie a loose slip knot, just enough that it doesn't come out, but you don't want it to be too tight that you can't get it out. We're gonna go back down to the calf band, and we're going to pull a band through and put this front loop over, no, this the back loop over the front loop, <laughs> like that, and don't pull. And if you wanna make it so that the tentacles like are the same as this, just shorter, you're going to put two bands in each chain. So you would go back into this and put another band in. But for this baby squid, I only did one. Which I still think looks cute. Which I'm only gonna be doing one today. So now we're gonna go into the next chain and pull one through, and then put these back two loops over the front one, like that. We're gonna go into the next one. Come on, focus. Pull the band through, back loop over, back loop over. And you're just gonna do that all the way down the chain. Sorry, I'm going so slow. I, I'm trying to figure out if I wanna loom by looking through the camera or just looking at my hands, not through the camera. <laughs> When you get to your last one, you are gonna put a stitch in it. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. And then you're going to undo the slip knot, put one end on your hook and pull it through the band that was on your hook, reclaim and do a loose slip knot that we will undo later. And that is a tentacle. If you kind of like bend it, it's kind of wavy or twist it or whatever, whatever you want. I personally like to keep mine a little bit straighter. But like, yeah, kind of like that. But yeah, that's how you make the tentacles. So you're going to want to rewind or just pause the video and make seven more and come back to me when you're done. Okay, so now we can get into the process of making the body portion. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm literally so sorry guys about my my congestion congestion <laughs> I can't even talk. <coughs> so sorry. Um okay. That's the pattern. I didn't even say this in the beginning. Thank you so much, uh Rainbow Loom underscore creations four five six for letting me film this tutorial for you. And sorry it took so long. <laughs> And thank you, Zimmy, for giving permission for me to film as well. So we are going to start with a magic ring of five. And if you don't know how to make a magic ring, I will show you. So you're gonna take a band on your hook, you're gonna wrap it around two times, creating three loops. I'm so sorry, my hands. Gross. Ugh. And then you're going to pull a band through these three loops and reclaim and put this back loop over the front loop. And now we are going to go, I like to, there we go, go back into the three loops, make sure you get all three. and pull a band through all three loops and not this back loop, reclaim, and put the back two over the front one. You're gonna go back into the three stitch, the, no, the three loops of the calf band, sorry. Pull another band through, reclaim. Excuse me, sorry. And put these two loops over the front one like so. We're gonna repeat that two more times so that we have five stitches in our cap band.
yeah, I am going to get a new backdrop soon. Probably just like paper, <laughs> like a, a firm, like you know, like cardstock or something, like a big or no, like a poster board, poster board, or cardstock. One of those, because this is like a canvas and it has like some rips in it. And it went up here too, but I cut that out because it's really big and ugly. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. And now we are going to want to get our C clip and put it to the band that's on your hook. And now we are going to do a single crochet around and we're not gonna go into this loop here because this is not this is just part of the first stitch. So we are going to go into this loop right here. And we're just going to pull a band through just like we were doing for the magic ring and then put the back two loops over the front loop. Then we're gonna go into the next stitch and do the same thing. And we're just gonna repeat this all the way around. And then we're going to move our C clip up once we get to the band that has it. <coughs> so sorry. Oh my gosh. Now we're going to do a single increase around. If you don't know how to do an increase, I'll show you. So our first stitch will be a single, like we were just doing. And then in this next stitch, we're going to put two bands in the same stitch. So do our, our normal stitch. And then instead of going to the next loop, we're gonna go back into the same loop we just did the stitch in and make another stitch. And now we're going to do another single and then an increase. And then your last stitch should be a single. And move your seat clip up. And you should have seven stitches, so you always start with the one on your hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to do single crochet around. So just one band in every stitch. I'm trying to go a little faster. I think the reason I don't go as fast on camera is because I'm trying to make sure that you can see what I'm doing without my fingers being in the way. And move your C-clip up. You should still have seven stitches. Sorry, that was my cat. He just jumped up into his little house. And there we go. And now we are going to do single, single increase. So two single, single stitches and then an increase and we should end up with nine. And I already showed you all how to do an increase. So I'm gonna go try to go a little faster this time, but so you can still see my, what I'm doing. I decided to look through the camera while I'm looming, so. But yeah, I have not filmed in, the last time I uploaded it was like before, it was probably in August, now it's September 6th, no, today's the 17th, I think. This is probably when it will be uploaded, because I already took a thumbnail this morning, because I was already planning on filming today, and I was taking pictures for my Etsy. So, I actually haven't listed them yet. 
The squids are, the big squids are listed, but the baby ones aren't. I will list those soon. Sorry, that was not in frame. But you should end on a single stitch. You should have nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm going to add a tiny bit of stuffing right now just because it's so tight and it's easier to stuff earlier. And this is where you might want a helping hook to help push the stuffing up into the cone shape. And now we're going to do single crochet around in the nine stitches. Oh, hearing myself talk is so gross. Ew, I sound so congested. It's been going around at my school lately because I think the last time I filmed, I hadn't started school yet, but I have started school now, so hooray. It's actually not that bad so far, even though I've only been in for like, little more than a week I know it'll get harder <clears throat> but for now it's not that bad which is great because I did not enjoy last year I am in high school now I'm so young bro <laughs> like when I loom like my habit is to keep my pointer finger like but I need to like keep it back so you guys can see what I'm doing. Move your C-clip up. You should still have nine. Now we are going to do single, single, single increase. So three single crochets and then an increase. Just getting some more bands out. So one, two, and then this will be an increase you should end on a single crochet and you should have 11 stitches after this. I don't remember if I said that. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. <laughs> and instead of doing a single row this time, we are going to do a half row. If you don't know what that is, I'll show you. But basically we're only going to be doing a row on the inside stitches. So adding a little bit more stuffing right now. I recommend you do the same. Eh, it's not very camera friendly, this color. There's like some colors that are and some colors that aren't, like the yellow that I did in my gnome tutorial. Maybe it's like the lighter pastel colors that it doesn't like. Okay. All oh, right, the half row. <laughs> I was supposed to look at my pattern. Okay, so we're only going to, it's gonna be a single row. So we're only gonna go on the inside half of these stitches. You can see how there's like two. So we're only gonna do a stitch on the inside half. Like that. You still have 11 after this.
Sorry, I was not talking during that. It might look like it's closing up, but I promise you it's not. It's just because we did the inside loop only. So now we are going to... Uh, We're going to do three rows normal. So we're gonna do three rows of just single crochet. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do these on camera just because to save filming time and also my voice is already dying. Um, but yeah, the both loops this time, not the half row, three rows of just single stitches. Both loops, not just the front loop. <laughs> so, three rows. I'm going to, I want you guys to pause the video and do your three rows and come back to me when you're done. All right, so I have completed my three rows and I'm just going to stuff it a little bit right now. And I also just want to say something just right now, honestly, I was just thinking about it. I really want to make sure that you guys know who designs the things I make tutorials for because I see so many people on Instagram who make the things in my tutorials, but then don't give credit to the person who actually designed it and they say it's designed by me, but it is not. I just do the tutorials. So I just want you guys to make sure you're extra careful about who design things that I make tutorials for or who other people make tutorials for that aren't designed by them because we really want to make sure that the, design, that the designer gets credit because these things are not easy to design. <laughs> so giving credit means a lot. <laughs> so just wanted to make sure you guys knew that. Um, the next step is we're going to do a single, single decrease around. So actually, if you don't know how to decrease, I will show you. So we're just gonna do two single stitches first. So single and a single. And then we are going to take the front half of the first loop and the back half of the next loop and pull a band through and make a stitch normally. Now we're gonna repeat, so single, single, and then inside of the first loop, outside of the next loop. And then you're going to end on two single stitches. And this is like your last opportunity to stuff. So I would recommend adding the rest of your stuffing right now, like I am. You can use your finger or helping hook. Okay. So now we're going to just decrease everything. We honestly don't even need our stitch marker anymore. So you can just take your stitch marker out after that row and you're just going to decrease, keep on doing decreases until you can't do decreases anymore. So that's one decrease, just drop my thing. That's one decrease. Second decrease. Third decrease, it does get tight here. Four, counting so that I can let you know, you guys know how many decreases I do. 
so it's five. I think six will be it. Okay. So when you get to your last decrease, I did six. You're going to pull a band through everything on your hook. Pull the back one over the front one and pull tight. We don't want this to come undone. And we're going to tuck this in to our squid. Now, I like to do the eyes because it just helps with all the placement of everything. So you're gonna wanna get your eyes or whatever you're using. Bands or beads or a different size. These are six millimeter, like I said. Gonna place them wherever I think looks right. <laughs> I think I like that. That helps though. Put it like there in the beginning. Okay. I'm gonna do the thing around here first and then this thing and then the tentacles. Okay. So the row where we did a half row well, I like to start in the back. So we're gonna go just in where, where we did the half row. There's like a loop that's like above, like a row that's like visible above all the other rows. You're gonna take the first half or just the one half. You're gonna pull a band through and you're gonna pull another band through like this. Then you're gonna go to the next stitch if you did my other squid, if you did the other squid, not my squid, the other squid for my other tutorial, then this is exactly the same. And you're going to pull it, the band through everything on your hook, reclaim, and chain one. Go into the front half only. Pull a band through everything on your hook which should be three loops and then chain another band I'm just doing this all the way around done much talking in this video just because of my throat my throat hurts I have a stuffy nose I sound super congested I'm having constant headaches oh and I never get sick so it's like ugh, the worst when I do it's not COVID though I did test like the first time I the first night I didn't feel good Baby squid is so cute. My dad started singing baby shark, but instead it was baby squid. He's funny. Okay, so 
So for the last one, I just went into the same chain I did in the beginning and I just chained one and then I'm gonna just go into some stitches that I did and just tie it off. Oops, come back. Just pulled through everything and make a slip. Oh, oh, it didn't break. I thought it broke. That definitely just sounded like it broke, but it didn't. Okay, and I'm just gonna tuck this in. There's a lot of tail tucking when it comes to the tentacles, just like the big one. But it's a little worse on this one just because it's so tiny. Okay. Counts like a traffic cone head. <laughs> so now we are going to do this part here. The tentacles. Yeah, I think this is really gonna be like 30 minutes long, maybe, maybe a tiny bit longer. Just cause I'm so slow. It annoys me. It, I know it probably annoys you guys too, but. Sorry. <laughs> That's all I can say. So first we are going to go to one side of the magic ring. That's like facing like downwards. Um, I'm gonna go right here and there's like three loops in the magic ring but I only like to go through two and we're going to make a stitch on that and then we're gonna do single stitches going all the way down so I'm gonna go right here There's not really an exact number of stitches I go down with. It's just whenever you get like to the bottom of the, where the, like, the crown thingy is. You wanna get right to the edge of that. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I did six stitches. So now I'm going to turn my hook and go back if you want to go like this, you can, just into the front, but just because I like my stitches facing the same way, I'm going to go through the back of the stitch, and we're just going to do single crochet up. And I do go into the slip stitch at the top. And I like to like leave this hanging like on a seed clip because then I like to like attach it the both sides together up here. So I just left this hanging so I can like stitch it into the other side. I will show you what I mean once I get the other side done. But I just like to leave it hanging. You can slip knot it if you want, if you don't care, but I like to just leave it hanging. Sorry. Now we're going to do the same thing going down the other side. So take like two stitches, two loops out of the magic ring. Mm. There we go. And stitch down. I like to try and do the same amount. So I'm gonna do one. Ah. I'm gonna go here instead. Two. Three.
four, five. Sorry if you can't see what I'm doing, but it's just the same thing as the other side. And then six, just stitching down. And for this, you don't have to turn your hook. You can just go straight through the back. We're gonna stitch up. So one, two, three, four, five, and then through the top slip stitch. And here is where I like to attach it together. So I like to like go through one of the magic ring stitches, make a stitch, and then join it with the other side like this. And then just Find a place to put your hook through and tie it off. <clears throat> Here, there we go. And then just tie it off. Like that. I hope that made sense, you guys. I'm so sorry. So this is what your squid should look like. Super cute. It'll look cuter with a mouth. I like to glue them on at the end though. So now for the tentacles, I will just, it's pretty easy, I guess. You just have to tie them on to wherever you'd like. And then you have to tuck in all the tails. So I'm just gonna do it around. I will definitely go off camera to tuck in all the tails because tucking in tails on camera is like horrible. Like when you have to do so many. Ugh, I keep on feeling like it's gonna break, but it's not. tripod was so close to me. Oh, now you can't see what I'm doing. I like to do like four. Like first you tie on four, like proportionally, like around. Like this. And then in between all of those, you tie in another one. I don't know, it's just how I get it, like as even as I can. It's hard though, because there's eight and like around there was nine stitches so you have to like try and keep it proportionate oh the segment is 18 minutes yeah i think it's gonna be a little bit longer than than half an hour like 40 minutes i don't even know how long i've been filming Okay, so I tied on all my tentacles and now you can see there's a bunch of slip knots. So look at this craziness. Uh, you do have to tuck those in. So I'm gonna go off camera to tuck mine in just cause it's kind of a hassle to do it on camera. Just knock my tripod over and I will come back for the outro once I am done.
So I finished tucking in the tails on my squid. And yes, the tentacles flare out a tiny bit at first, but if you like mess with them a little bit, um, they will be normal. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial on how to make these baby squids. And thank you so much, uh, Zimmy and Rainbow Loom underscore creations 456 for letting me film for this super cute design. And if you make one, don't forget to tag us all on Instagram and use our hashtags. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!